Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 29, and this is war number seven, I believe. I'm so off, so if I'm off on these numbers, forgive me, but I believe this is war number seven, and looks like we're going up against an alliance called The One. Uh, this is the second war with my new alliance, Bishop. Uh, so let's go ahead in here and spectate and see what we're facing. And I am still doing uh, path three. So there's a guardian and a storm pyramid X. Now, both of these, uh, my Nick Fury should be able to handle it. Uh, this static defense has always been uh, interesting to me. Uh, and then we've got Hurt Locker, Mystic Ward. So not too worried about her. And then we've got Captain Marvel movie version. Uh, Nick Fury can do that fight as well. Just have to be really careful because you've got that uh, strike counter Fury. And really this Guardian fight here is the only one that I'm kind of uh, wary about. Uh, I know Nick Fury can do that fight. What shape he'll be in, I don't know. Um, but we'll see. All right. Uh, let's go on up here. Section two. Uh, we've got Domino. Uh, Warlock can do that fight if I'm careful, but we'll see. Uh, then we've got Hulk Buster. Claire should be able to handle that fight. Penny, I still need to uh, fight her more often, but uh, should be able to take her out uh, without too much difficulty, but we'll see. And then we've got Hyperion. Put on a, a invulnerability boost and go ham with uh, Nick Fury. And that fight can be done. And then we've got Mini Boss Island here. There we've got another... Uh, Domino, normally you would go in there with Warlock uh, to handle her. Um, Claire, because this is a Rage node, might also work uh, pretty well. Uh, you got Killmonger. Really want somebody that can armor break. Uh, Warlock can armor break on his SP2. Other than that, I probably don't have anybody really great for that fight. And uh, Mangog, really need Human Torch for that one, um, ideally. And at the bottom here, we've got Bishop. We were just talking about that in the stream today. You know, a good counter for that Bishop there, um, or for Bishop. And, oof, because he's been upgraded. Uh, I know Tech Champions do well against him. Um, so... Maybe a tech or someone who's incinerate immune. Maybe, I don't know. Warlock void. Is Warlock incinerate immune? Void, definitely. Uh, we got Terax over there. I know Claire can do it as long as you play around that node. Uh, she can do it. Um, Quake can do it. You got Kingpin up there. Somebody that can shut down evades would be nice uh, on that one. And then we've got Kitty Pride as the uh, boss. That'll be interesting. That will be interesting. Try not to intercept her and see how we do. Hmm, interesting. All right, so that's it for the scouting. And we'll be back for the fighting. All right, so as you can see, I switched up my team a little bit. I dropped Warlock. He had a bad first day out. If you haven't watched that uh, last war, go take a look at it and you'll know what I mean. But I decided to give him a little bit of a break this war and I brought in Corvus. Now my six star rank three Corvus is in AQ, but I figured the five stars should be enough to handle what I was seeing here. So first up we got Guardian. Now, there is potential 
for me to get two charges. He's tech and he also auto blocks. So I was thinking if I get him to auto block, then I'll be able to get a second charge. But even so, at the minimum, I'm gonna get the uh, tech charge. All right, and you can see I am boosting up. I'm not playing around. I don't have the six star, but I want the five star to be, you know, pretty much on the top of his game. I didn't use, you know, the big 30% boost, but I'm thinking that these boosts should be enough for right now. All right, so look at that. Even advanced power. People underestimate just how good the advanced power is. And especially in the hands of Corvus, I'll be able to get to a special two quickly. And that can make all the difference. So I'm expecting to steamroll this uh, Guardian. All right, so boom. You see, I already got one bar of power. Thanks for that uh, boost. All right, we're just doing some medium light mediums here. And then I get caught. Alrighty, no problem. Happens. Alright, don't have my rhythm yet. Alright, here we go. Boom, boom, boom. And I was waiting a little bit because I wasn't sure if I wanted to push him any further. Alright, and here we go because I was about to hit the special three. Boom. Look at that. Back to a special two again, but he fired his special off before I could do anything. Look at my health. <laughs> my health, you know, it was like he beat me bad but I didn't get hit all that much. <laughs> look at that. You see how many hits I got? But look at my health. Crazy, crazy. But anyway, um, that node, that node, boy. Uh, but anyway, uh, so I said, you know what? I still want to use him. You know, I want to get that next charge. That's why I brought Corvus in because I saw that I could get these charges. And... I have these thanks to uh, Kabam. I had some uh, of those health potions. May as well use them. But I'm going to try to use as few of those as I possibly can. But in this case, I wanted to uh, put on a good showing. You know, I'm new to the Alliance and I don't want to keep, you know, dying. You know, watch the other war and you'll know what I mean. All right, so here we go. Evaded that special. No problem. Boom, boom. Done. And I believe they were running suicides as well. So um, not that it made that much of a difference. But we got her down too. We were still boosted. All right. And I would have kept going. But the uh, mini gone. And uh, now we've got uh, section two. And we've got a domino. Now, if I had Warlock, that might have been a great counter to domino. But that EMP modification, I think I like Corvus for it. Uh, I didn't remember whether the uh, passive shocks still did damage to him. He's, you know, shock immune or doesn't take damage from shock. I forget. Um, but I decided to just keep on blocking and intercepting like you see there and, uh, do my best and we're just chewing through her. All right. She did an evade. So now at this point, I'm like, Ooh, I can get an evade charge. I said, you know what? Never mind. I don't want an evade charge no more. <laughs> Let's just finish the fight. I'm like, okay, let me just hit block. No block. No block, just just nothing. And all I wanted to do was block, try to get that parry off so that I could hit her with a, a heavy to get the charge. That's all I was trying to do there. And instead of a parry or even a block, I'm getting hit in the face. I said, you know what, we cool. Let's just finish the fight. All right, so bye-bye Domino. Next up, we've got Hulkbuster. Now, I could have taken this fight also with uh, Corvus, but I stuck with uh, Claire. She does very well on this node. If they have any armor ups, she takes care of those. 
so I usually don't have to worry about too much. All right, I switched out of my blood and the uh, plague and was hoping and uh, without hope. <laughs> you see that uh, bleed I have on me? The reason I have that bleed on me is because he popped up an armor up and it, it's a low chance, but apparently I have real bad luck because as soon as I hit, got the uh, bleed on me. Um, but it wasn't that bad. Didn't do that much damage. So not too worried about it. And she can heal up if I need her to. All right. So now this fight here, this next fight is against Penny Parker. And this is a wicked placement. Now I have not fought Penny Parker, especially not on this note. And I fought her a couple of times. And so I know one way to get rid of a lot of that auto blocking is to hit into her block. But this is explosive personality. That's why I said this is an insidious placement for her. So I'm like, okay, how am I supposed to break this down? Now, in hindsight, I probably should have just used Corvus. Corvus would have probably done a, a great job. I might have been able to get her down very quickly before I had to deal with a lot of her nonsense. But instead, I said, all right, I'm going to try with uh, Claire. I'm a boost up. And my thinking was I'm going to have to hit into her block to get rid of, you know, those charges or whatever. But I'll nullify the armor ups so I shouldn't have to worry about her going unblockable. Okay, so you see how I'm hitting into the block. All right, see, there we go. Hit into the block. And she's just firing off that special. All right, well, just look at that. Very annoying. I got to practice fighting her. All right, so there we go. I nullified. Um, if I were running Mystic Dispersion, this fight would have gone differently. All that nullification, I would have been able to do a lot of special attacks to finish the fight off. But as you can see here, you know, I'm taking damage every time I'm hitting into the block um, or some damage it looked like. And I'm trying to get rid of, you know, the armor ups, you know, and I'm just, I'm just lost, guys. I'm lost. You know, I'm trying to fight her. Look at this. And then I'm like, okay, what was that? I thought I got rid of him. What, what's going on? And look at that. She's just firing those specials like crazy. I'm in the corner now. And I'm like, what? What is going on? You know? I'm just like, what am I supposed to do here? Look at that. Boom. Now she's auto-blocking again. And I'm like, what? What am I supposed to do? Now my health is gone. I'm in the corner. And what does she do? Her special, which she's been doing all this fight. I couldn't block it. I didn't know how to evade it, so I went down. And I'm just like, wow, that did not go any way like I was thinking it would. So I'm like, okay, well, there's a, a, another death. You know, this is not going well for me. You know, so far uh, since I've joined, I've died once per war. That's not good. That's not good at all. I don't like that. So I went ahead and healed up Corvus and just went right back in. And look at how this goes. Slice, 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 slice. Slice, 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 done. I probably should have done this with Corvus from the beginning. And all of that auto blocking, get to a special two, and I would have ripped her, okay? Now, after dying, can you imagine what I want to do here? Do you think I want to fight him? Yes, because I don't like running. So yes, I died, but I'm just like, nah, I'm not going to curl up and uh, be afraid to fight. I got Nick Fury and we're going in. All right, here we go. Come on, bring it. Don't care. I got Nick Fury, and uh, I believe I still had the uh, invulnerability boost on as well. Look at that. 
No damage. Boom. I can do that two more times. And then another time because Nick Fury still didn't have his real life out. So I get a lot of cushion on this fight. I was in no danger whatsoever from that fight. So I felt a little better, not quite vindicated from that death, but a little bit vindicated that I was e uh, at least able to take him out. All right, so that was all I did for this war. Uh, and we'll be back in a short moment and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back, and unfortunately we lost this war. Now, a little word about this loss. I want you guys to see something. Look at the score. We were tied. That means that if I had not died to that Penny Parker, we would have won this war. But everything down the board was a tie. Our diversity, which was a bit lower than it should have been, we fixed that, but our diversity was the same as theirs same amount of deaths, it actually came down to the tiebreaker fight duration. That is how they beat us in this war. So that is going to do it, guys. Thank you for watching. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.